go to Unity. Now we got this. In Unity, you can go uh, import new assets and whatnot. I'd like to drag it in. So drag in the FBX. Should only take a moment. Cool. Go ahead and drag in your texture. Bam. Uh, one more thing real quick because we are going to be making a particle effect. So go file new 1024 by 1024. Hit OK. Go ahead and color the background black. Go ahead and go to text. Make a really giant plus sign. Tahoma. Make it white. Done. Done. Move it. Let's uh, center it. Double click on the background to make it an object or a layer. Go ahead and center this. Or we don't need to center this right now. Uh, rasterize the plus sign. Make it a little bit bigger. It's good enough. Go ahead and center it real quick. Center. Uh, click on the outside here, or you can right or go to transform somehow, or you can go here and go transform. But uh, if you just click on the bounding box here, which you can turn on by show transform controls, click. Now we're in transform mode. Right click, warp. Uh, I want to go like this. I want it to be pointy. It's going to be like a star or whatever. So, since it's a particle effect and it's a star, it's not a terribly huge deal whether it's perfect or not. So, again, going fast, making a star real quick. And you know, play with it as much as you want. Boom, boom, boom. Just one more. Boom. Boom. Shrink this and down a little. Again, remember it doesn't matter if it's perfect, so. Hit enter to exit transform mode. It'll take a second. Bling bling. There you go. We got our star. Go to the shape tool. Go to. Do ellipse. Hold shift to make its aspect ratio equal. First change the fill to white. And then go like this. There you go. There's our white. Move it to the middle. And boom, boom, boom. Shift. Let's merge these layers. Let's click here. Actually, the circle's too big. Control Z to undo the merging. Shrink this down a bit. Move the circle to the middle. And then let's merge them. Merge layers. Double clicked. Outer glow. White. Go ahead and turn up the size. And not the spread, I think is what we want to do, right? Put it the other way around. Not the size. Turn the spread real low. Makes the size more fuzzy in nature. Um, hit OK. Go ahead and click here, save for web, PNG, save. And so now we're going to save this as star particle, save. And we'll turn that into our star particle. Go ahead and add star particle to assets. Now we're good to go here. So first thing that we're going to do is add the coin to our scene. Go ahead and zero it out. See how tiny it is? It's super small. So let's go ahead and hit select. Uh, scale factor comes in at 
just change it to one. Aaron will show you what size it needs to be and everything like that, but uh, for this purpose, we're going to just do this. So there you go. There's our model. Click here. Boom. Model. And let's go ahead and find the texture that we want to add to it. And there we go. Got our first model. So then you can make a whole bunch of different ones or whatever. This didn't look good. See, it's got that same black and white bevel thing, so I needed to expand those. Um, but whatever, you can do that. I'm not doing it. So here we go. All right, there you go. I like this um, tune thing. Uh, that's the only thing that I brought in when I made the new project. So when you make your new project, you can import the asset. Or you can go up here, assets, import package, tune shading. On the coin, I'm going to go ahead and turn the tune thing to, hmm, to a basic looks like. Needs the cube map that comes with it. Don't like that. Go back tune. Lighted. Needs the ramp. And that's kind of the one that I like. Again, this turned out really horribly. Sorry about that. But uh, there you go. And that's the tune effect right there is like that kind of stuff. Or you can just turn it off. Whatever. I'm going to turn it off for the time being. And there. Alright, this didn't come out good either. Just play with it and do the best that you can. Uh, again, I'll include a package that is uh, much more polished and perfected or whatever. So, here we are. Let's make a folder real quick. Call it Textures. Let's add our textures to the folder. Let's go ahead and click here, green texture. Let's go ahead and create another material. I'll call it star particle. And for the star particle, we're going to take the star. It comes out like this. That's not how we want that to show up. Go here and go to particles additive. Um, if you need this and like just need more, but Preferably use mobile particles, same additive. Um, all right, so let's make a game object, empty game object. It's going to be our star particle. Call green, green, and then let's add a component, effects, particle system and start making our on-click particle system. For the shape, let's go ahead and select mesh. Got it, the mesh of our object, which is luckily off-center, that's terrific. Um, let's see if we can go like this. There we go. Not sure why that happened, how it happened, but easily fixed, which is good. So that's where it's going to emit from. I'm going to select random direction. Uh, let's go down here and actually add our star particle. Drag it on. There you go. Um, speed to 0.5. The size to 0.5. And let's go to color over lifetime. This is the green one, so let's do green. Double click. Green. Click here lighter green click here this is the alpha pretty much it's the uh, opacity have them fade out as they're getting toward the bottom go ahead and do that um, okay let's have the lifetime go to 2.5 2.5 the emission from 10 to 150 And rotation over lifetime, random between two constants, start off at 45 to 180. That way they'll spin as they're coming off. Um, bum, 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 bum. That's pretty much good enough. Again, I'll make a more polished version of it, but it's kind of cool. And let's add that to our coin. 
So now we have our coin with our particle effect on click. It'll be like this, you'll click, and that's no good, right? It doesn't start with quite a bang. So pre-warm, that should start it pretty well. There you go. Click. There you go. All right, so if you wanted to get real fancy, you could change the star into that same clover, and that might look cool also. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and click on the coin. Let's go ahead and make a folder and call it animation animations open that up click here create folder animator controller controllers and that'll be for when we have controllers for our animators so click on the coin go over here click here create new clip I'm just gonna make one of the animations just to show you how this would uh, work um, just call it uh, death and this will be what you can play when the coin dies. So take both of these into the animations folder. This is the controller that was made. Put it in the controllers. Here's the death animation. Over here we can see that we can start working on it. Um, first we're going to need to add a component here. Miscellaneous animation. Add the death animation. It's got the coin controller already. Go over here we can see that now we're recording the animation uh, add a curve and go to here we're going to add different transforms we're going to add rotation to the transform uh, to the animation and we're going to add scale so it'll start here I want to play it over the course of use the mouse wheel or whatever to expand the time I want to play it over the course of actually let's just say one second All Right, that seems long enough not sure might be might not be but let's go ahead and it'll start here at the base uh, oops alright so here it'll end at one second and so it'll start at zero 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 across the board on everything and then up here we're gonna go ahead and change the rotation on the I guess it's going to be the Z axis. So let's spin it on the Z axis. And it's going to spin 720. Oops, not the Z axis. It's going to be the. Oh, yeah, I wasn't even on the Z axis. <laughs> Z axis, 720 degrees. There you go. So right now, what it'll look like is this. And so you could do like a slow version of this for just during gameplay if you wanted. This is one of the ones that I'm not going to show you that I am going to have in there. Let's see, so you can have it slowly spinning during the game. And then, um, you know, so then people can select it and you could turn it off and or whatever. But we're just going to do the death one, play over the course of one second. And so, imagine this. All right, so on the scale, we're going to make it go to zero, which will create the weird illusion that it's falling backwards away from us, but whatever. So it'll play and disappear. You know, and that might be too long of an animation if you want the game to be able to play quicker. You can go to 30, and there you go. It goes really fast. So, boom, boom. And so that's pretty much all that I'm going to be showing you. So we went over how to make a model in a 3D modeling program, how to then uh, texture that model, how to import both the textures and the model, how to create the materials out of the texture, how to animate our model, and how to add a particle effect to that model using the model's own mesh. Um, I have more in-depth uh, particle effect tutorial which will go over a lot of this stuff as well as like more into what it does and everything it's very uh, self-explanatory if you just spend some time messing with it um, and yeah so that's all that I'm going to do if you guys want to add a burst on click you can have a burst you know which will 
explode and then you know trail off or whatever and so yeah so that's all from me I'm gonna be including an asset pack but this way you'll be able to go through he's gonna show you how to instantiate all of this how to play the animations at certain times how to turn on the particle effects at certain times um, how to switch out the spheres that he's been using for uh, various models and uh, enjoy glad you guys have been watching we're real impressed by uh, our Subcri subscriber account going over a hundred and uh, keep it up. Thanks for watching. This is Daniel and tune in next time for our next uh, video. Thanks. Bye